the meaty choice. Now, when I say meaty choice, I'm not talking about shopping for barbecue, (laughs) although metaphorically speaking, it's not far off. What we choose, decide to do, is really the basic driver of our life. This may seem obvious until it's acknowledged that in order to create anything, choices must be made. In fact, the bigger the creation, the more meat or oomph or intention needs to be there in order for it to happen. It's easy to confuse choice with preference or wish. Preferences and wishes are non-critical components of creating where there is nothing at stake, and it's no big whoop if they don't happen. But with the meaty choice, though, you've got considerable skin in the game, and the outcome resulting from the choice has far-ranging effects on the rest of your life. What gives these kinds of choice meat is the intention, energy, behind them, and the consequences if the choice does not actualize. We're really talking about making the kinds of choices that launch you out of the comfort zone box into a whole new life. Now, not everyone wants to get out of that box, and that's a valid choice too. But to really change it up, if that's what you need or want to do, then the meaty choice is your alternative. How do you make a meaty choice? First, really decide that is what you truly, deeply want to do. You must be willing to make this decision and then stick with the choice come hell or high water. Ironically, once the choice is made in this way, hell and high water usually just don't come up. Second, what are the consequences if this choice never happens? What would your life look like in five years? What would your life look like in five years if you made the choice? Without some sort of untenable result from not making the choice, chances are you won't stick with it, and it won't respond meaningfully to the opportunities that will come your way as a result of the choice. Thirdly, keep making the choice over and over. Keep creating the outcome. If you stop, or if something else becomes more important or distracting, then you are adding time to the actualization schedule the universe is attempting to provide you. Once the meaty choice is made, the universe begins to have your back. And as you repeat this choice, the more demonstrations of this fact manifest. Persistence wins the day. If you have any procrastination proclivities like I do, it's dismayingly easy to put off making any kind of meaty choice. I think this is because the reason for procrastination is to keep options open for something better or the other kind of procrastination that has to do with needing to be forced to do something unsavory and then time becomes the force factor. Either way, time can be your friend or your enemy. If you are completely and thoroughly willing to do whatever it takes, then the universe will throw you time-sensitive opportunities that really speed stuff up. If you're procrastinating, then so does the universe. (laughs) You want to break out of the box and live a life you've previously just been dreaming about? Make that meaty choice. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com